I want to talk about min-maxing. Uh, it's a debate that's gone on for some time in role-playing games. And um, firstly, I'm just going to quickly explain what that is for anyone who doesn't know. Min-maxing is when a player optimises their character and does what what is often called a build. Um, so they'll they'll get the absolute most out of their character so that under certain situations they get obscene bonuses and can be really powerful. Um, there's some systems which particularly lend themselves to this. Uh, D&D 3, D&D 4 and Pathfinder. Uh, these are systems which in all cases the, the problem I believe lies with the game not the players because min-maxing exists in every game. You know, if somebody knows the rules, if somebody understands how to build a more powerful character because they've read the rulebook and understood it, then they're going to do that. And you can't stop that. That's just the advantage of knowledge. Uh, the only real way to counter it is for everyone to gain knowledge of the games they're playing which might sound like a ludicrous thought, right? <laughs> of course, if you're playing a game, you must know your way around it. Well, it's not actually true. Um, nine times out of ten, the GM has the game, and maybe one or two of the players, and the rest don't. So min-maxing, uh, it happens in role-playing, and it's a natural part of role-playing. Some people know how to build their characters better than others. It's as simple as that. Is it a problem? A little bit, yes. Um, at certain games in particular, as I mentioned, D&D &D 3, 3.5, D&D &D 4, and Pathfinder, these are games I generally I avoid playing them um, because I don't want to buy that many books in order to do them in maxing. And, um, you know, and, and if you don't do it, then, well, you're, you just don't get to take it uh, part in as much of the adventure. And I'll give you an example. I mean, I've, I've set out a little encounter here showing what tends to happen in a game where you've got one character that's min-maxed and in this case, in this example, I've got two characters that aren't. It should be fairly clear which ones are which here. So here's my min-maxed fighter taking on three blazing skeletons and then the other two can barely cope with the one. And the problem is, if this guy doesn't kill them all, these two are dead, and if these two fail to kill their skeleton, it's not going to bother the fighter. So basically, the only person who's really in this fight is the fighter. Um, and as a GM, it can become very difficult to create encounters that challenge all of the players, and there's, there are solutions to this. Um, first of all, avoid Pathfinder, it's rubbish. Avoid D&D 3.5 and D&D 3 and D&D 4. They are rubbish. Um, I play old school D&D and I play, or I'm just about to play and try for the first time D&D 5th. I've been reading up on it lately and I'm, I'm going to do my first game on that one soon. Um, and it looks really good, I have to say, from everything I've seen so far. So, um, you know, why, why do I play that? Well. It's a fundamentally broken system, D uh, first edition, um, but it's meant to be like that. It works because of it. You know, your magic user starts off in the world with one hit point and one or two spells, um, and well, that's it. And basically, if it gets anywhere near a monster, your magic user dies, and that's first level. Get to six to ninth, it's kind of more or less ish balanced. And sort of above that, the, the magic user starts getting more and more powerful. You want power? You've got to pay the price. You've got to survive those early levels. Um, but it, it kind of works in spite of that. Um, and most of the time, I, my friends and I, who, who play first edition, uh, we generally play with the Osric rules, and we generally play in the sixth to ninth range. That's where the game's most balanced. Um, so, yeah, I mean, am I just saying, yeah, all roleplay games are broken and, and there's nothing that can be done? Um, no. Because uh, it's not true. There are ways to counter more powerful characters. Uh, and one of the ways you can do that is loot. Because, yeah, GMs love to award XP to people who are roleplaying well. And the problem is, 
usually there's one character that's everyone's sort of favourite in terms of role playing in any adventure. It's people don't necessarily stand out with their role playing; they're just playing a character, and it doesn't get awarded enough. Um, so it doesn't. And and I I always kind of disagree with it. You know, pe people should or adventurers should be comparatively powered. So if you start giving bonuses for good role playing uh, in of XP, it it kind of well it it sets your characters apart in levels for no reason. And you you're kind of you're almost forcing a, an equivalent of min maxing on the players by by doing that. So it's always bad to award XP as a bonus for good role playing. Um, but you can certainly boost up a character who's not very powerful. You can certainly award them some magic items. Usually, what I do, I do it with loot. So, um, you know, let, let's say my my rogue here gets a plus three crossbow, and bang, bang, you know, all of a sudden she's in the game. I just kick the camera tripod. So sorry about that. Um, you know, give give the magic user some iron stones, and yeah, boom. Come on, have at it. Um, so yeah, you know, give give your weaker characters the loot to compensate for the lack of game knowledge. The experienced players won't mind because um, you know they get it. They 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 want to go into a fight and they love the fact that they've optimised their character to do all this. Um, you know, and if um, they you know they they they're still having their fun. And uh, this guy just. It, it just wants to be in the game, so does this one. So give them the tools to do that by boosting them with a bit of loot. Um, and don't complain about min-maxing. Uh, it happens. It's part of the game, it's part of every game. Um, but try to avoid systems when min-maxing is overtly awarded, uh, sorry, overtly rewarded, uh, such as Pathfinder and the, 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 the bad years of D&D. Editions three through four. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject of uh, min maxing. Um, solve it with loot. <laughs>